commentary this time I've been trying to use uh, share factory it's a video editing software uh, application in the PlayStation 4 that I've been using to edit a couple of my other videos um, he seems to be requesting that I take him over and make some grenades uh, let's go ahead and uh, make some number two grenades uh, I like how they threw that uh, number one number two um, visit to the restroom gives you number one, number two grenades, respectively. Um, so I made a couple of errors in a few of my episode titles. I think I called episode eight, episode seven, and episode nine, episode eight. Uh, sorry for the disparity there, the uh, discontinuity or the confusion. Um, but my last episode was pretty uh, good for representing what Death Stranding can provide a player uh, if they don't make the right choices, if they don't bring the right things with them, if they overload themselves, if they try to rush through things, if they think that what they have on them is giving them a sure shot. Uh, obviously, the more you become versed in the skills required to push through and making an order, then yes, you'll probably have a better understanding of what uh, choices you make are going to be a guaranteed successful order or on time order or less damaged order. Um, I haven't gotten to the point where I can customize my little shack here, this little area that I uh, stop off at. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself uh, a couple drinks here. Uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, my first time ever drinking a monster was after uh, playing Death Stranding. Uh, I sat down and consumed a monster so that I can have a can right in front of me. So, um, yeah, I know there's a couple of uh, disparities or uh, dislikes of having certain marketing companies uh, have their brand label uh, on anything in their video games, but... Hideo Kojima is known for branding some of the things that the in-game characters interact with. Um, there was a regain energy drink in Metal Gear Solid, and he used that pretty uh, commonly. So marketing aside, uh, it serves a purpose. It's not just a billboard or some sticker stuck on something that does nothing for the player. You interact with it, uh, and I think they implemented it as best you can when it comes to marketing objects. Uh, and it's not egregious at all. And if they threw a couple of bucks uh, towards uh, getting the game funded or they paid them some money to get that marketing, then so be it. The game's probably slightly better for it. All right, uh, let's go back here. I'm going to make myself uh, prepped for going back to Port Knot City. This is the third time. First time was sort of an exploration. I just wanted to get there. Uh, second time I thought I was delivering a package, that's episode 9, uh, where I show delivering that package from Port Knot City all the way back to Capital Knot City. Uh, I got those mixed up, um, but that rush to get the package on time uh, was what the uh, video is about previously. Um, Alright, so I've got a couple mail that I'll just open up here. You can read those if you so choose. I'll come back and read these. I know I haven't read any, but I'm kind of just getting them uh, available. Uh, I do notice that there's an exclamation point, or let's go over here, so important ones. Uh, there might be, uh, just want to deliver as much stuff as you can. If so, you could always just load yourself up with a massive haul and aim for a bridge's bonus for total cargo weight. All right, so there are different things that they give you in um, overall score, uh, number of packages, number, uh, amount of damage, time, all sorts of different things uh, you can get yourself scores on for making deliveries. Um, unlike some reviews that uh, say that it's just a delivery game, and I've talked about that in other videos, it's not just a delivery game. It's a game that happens to have deliveries in it. Um, and the amount of effort you put into any game is about how much reward you'll get out of it. So if you're looking for quick rewards, uh, this is probably not going to do that for you right away, but if you put a lot of effort into it and you make it, uh, anything is what you make of it, uh, the rewards will uh, equal the time that you put into it. Um, 
or you could just dismiss the game altogether like some reviews have and not get the point. All right, so da, 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 da. I do have a couple of, so I've only gone, I did number one. Let's go ahead and do number two grenades. And I hope the audio in, from the game is okay versus my voiceover uh, when I do the audio commentary. I like how the sound of a chopper uh, exhaust masks the sound of Sam Porter's exhaust. All right, I think we're good here. I haven't gotten into uh, a lot of the weapon rack making sure like there's going to be more suits here um, using these specific types of grenades um, if BB is ever below 100 percent I'll come over and check with BB and this is currently what I'm I have been wearing now there's specific ones uh, blue red black maybe yellow I think yellow is for doing corpses black is sort of a security blue is delivery red is medical um, I might have those wrong um, I could change the color scheme um, I, but I, I I'm not gonna get too much into this right now this is definitely something um, oh sorry that's just for my mask uh, green is my color so that's why it's green and let's go ahead and uh, I thought I was going to change the color scheme on uh, my boots or my backpack or my suit itself but color key schemes on the suit stays the same because it's based on what it is that you're doing all right so let's go ahead and move out over to Port Knot City yeah some of the uh, videos uh, that I do uh, I'll just have recording in the background, so they're less than an hour because the um, the period or the threshold that uh, the PlayStation 4 automatically records, records for you at all times is about an hour. I think I've adjusted it to the max. I don't know if you can do longer. Um, so let's see if I have everything. Take on a new order. Okay, yes, I can jump. That was another thing I had. Sam, I received word from Mama that she's completed her anti-BT weapon. Prototypes of her design form a part of her next shipment. A delivery of relief supplies for the people of Port Knot City. Port Knot City is a fair distance from BT territory, but the weapons should come in handy if any stray too close. They'll also provide people with the means to defend themselves when traveling outside the city limits. The shipment also includes a variety of medicines, as well as human sperm and egg samples. These specimens are essential for maintaining genetic diversity as they were donated by civilians living outside the major population centers. By taking advantage of Kyrelium's temporal properties, we can ensure they remain viable for as long as required. After the shipment's been processed, connect the Cupid. Now, once that's done, the entire region will be integrated into the Chiral network. Afterwards, you'll be pushing on to Lake Knot City. So, we've included relief supplies for the people there as well. Of course, to get there, you'll need to cross over the lake in between. Details on that will be in a second order you'll need to accept then. Without a doubt, this will be your longest run for us to date. Make sure you've got everything you need. Longest run to date if I didn't go multiple times to Port Knot City already. All right, uh, so I'm going to do orders for Sam. Uh, all the other other orders, so going back here, standard orders, um, those are multiple um, different things that I could just deliver. Sam, double check the order summary. And definitely uh, highly recommend, I probably would have made the mistake of looking into... Uh, or going all the way to Port Knot City, if I just would have looked at this, every order that you get, standard orders or orders for Sam, will give you an order summary, order details, where it needs to go, how it needs to be delivered, how it may need to be carried, what you're carrying with you, uh, all that kind of stuff, what, what all that stuff weighs. So definitely jump into uh, the summaries and get yourself more details. Um, but I mean, as you become for, more familiar with uh, how to integrate with the user interface, you can easily jump into the game or into the order just grab it and then uh, review it as you're sort of on your way 
So going from Capital Knot City all the way over to Port Knot City, you can see all the, uh, the blue lines, the thinner blue lines that look like jagged heartbeats um, that kind of litter the area there. Um, on the map to the right, the, uh, you can see that I've already hit Port Knot City at least twice. Uh, I might have double backed on one of those lines, but I, I've made multiple trips there, and that was just me exploring and kind of having a good time and having fun. But you can kind of see how I've built those strands, those lines uh, connecting the different uh, areas that I've stopped by. But now I'm actually have a official order for Sam to go uh, from Port uh, Capital Knot City to Port Knot City. And I could probably omit the knots in all these, but I believe they're all given a knot. So whatever cities uh, come up on the map, they're called something not city. So I could just call it, I'm going to go from capital to port or capital city to port city. So when you hear knot, that's just, uh, I'm sure, it's just, you know, knots on a strand uh, to connect everything. All right, uh, so picking that up. All right, so this one needs to go from capital uh, up at the top. It's 3615 meters. Uh, I'm probably encounter some mules, some BTs, uh, steep territory, um, looks like some waters and streams and some uh, rough terrain. Uh, they recommend that I bring a ladder, it looks like a piton, and I'm not quite sure what the, ac the uh, icon is, uh, third from the left uh, after the ladder. I need to take it to Victor Frank over at Port Knot City. Uh, uh, the requirement is to deliver all four containers of aid. See a couple of more. Uh, cargo for delivery, sperm and eggs, medicine, anti-BT weapons, anti-BT weapons. That's probably stuff that I made, you know, out of my, you know, uh, fluids, uh, hematic grenade, um, repair spray. These are supplies. Select that. I'm going to accept those orders. That's a transfusion bag containing blood drawn from you. While equipped, it'll gradually replenish yours. Interesting. So sort of a, uh, a aid pack. Um. Sam, this is our first attempt at developing an anti-BT weapon. I had to work fast with what we had, so they're basically modified hand grenades. At least, that's how they're meant to function. They've never actually been tested in the field. Who knows? You might be the first person to kill a BT. And wouldn't that be something? But, even if they do work, don't forget that they're fueled by your blood. Use too much and you'll give yourself anemia. Okay, so hematic grenades are different than the number one, number two grenades. They use my blood versus my fluids um, or fecal matter. Um, so okay for that. Let's see, how many of these do I have? I don't have any owned. Let's go ahead and make one of those. I got that times one, and we'll do that times one. Uh, fabricate, yes please. All right, so I'm gonna load everything. I've got four of those packages, and then hematic grenades, and then also uh, two things of hematic grenades, and the pear spray blood bag, another blood bag, bam, I think, don't I want the blood bags on my, yeah, we'll just take that, all right, um, I think maybe I want to take the things that don't fall off, so these four right here, um, I could put over on or maybe I can't attach it to the suit. Let's see if I can do them individually. All right, so I'm gonna take this one. Nope, carry by hand. It's gotta be either by hand or on my back. I can't care, attach it to suit. The only reason I wanna attach it to my suit is if I fall for any reason, uh, it won't fall off of me. Um, all right, I think I'm okay with that for now. Let's go ahead and head out. I did have a motorcycle for a short amount of time. That's probably in episode eight. Uh, where I tried to use the, or no, I believe that was episode 9. I had it in episode 8 and episode 9. And in episode 9, I lost it um, to the BTs. So I don't have one with me. There will be a point where I'll be able to fabricate. Um, 
Don't want to go to there. At some point, I'll be able to fabricate vehicles. But right now, I'm in the very early stages of the game. Um, Sam, out for performing an experiment with thematic grenades. Might be worth taking a look. Alright, so I'm going to learn how to use the thematic grenades. Stamina gets restored for the keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on gives me stamina restored. This should make BB happy. Sometimes. I imagine whenever I get access to vehicles, these vehicles over here may unlock or give me the ability to Grand Theft Auto style these. But right now, they're going to have red marks on them saying no but be nice once I'm able to uh, use these vehicles see it's just something to look forward to these first uh, I'm 10 hours in I believe right now but I've gone off the beaten path Sam, looks like you've got some more orders to take care of remember once you get to Fort Knott City you'll be crossing the lake so you should make any pending deliveries before then Take a look at your map and figure out the most efficient way to get to all the places you need to go. Keep on keeping on. A ton of, uh, you can see people that have put a ton of stuff uh, around the world for me to use. Again, I'm not going to see those players, but these uh, bridges have obviously been made over the last couple of days. I haven't uh, done a stream, and I haven't played uh, probably the last two days. I was trying to edit those videos, which are on um, the channel now. And you can start to see as things get populated. So there's two things that I, two ways that I feel about. Sam. Having dooms gives you advantages most folks don't have. But as capable as you are, you're also a member of Bridges now. An organization filled with experts in a whole variety of fields, all of whom are ready and willing to help. The team is here for you, Sam. All you have to do is ask. Got it? Good. Two ways that I feel about uh, sort of the online integration of other players. It's awesome because they help you out, uh, but it can take away from you getting some of this stuff and spending the time to, you know, feel the burn of trying to get all these things yourself. Um, uh, come on, come on. So normally, what I do when I see him stumble forward, uh, I'll just let go of pressing forward on the left analog stick, and I'll hold both. Uh, left and right L2 triggers, so L2 and R2. And that seems to stabilize him every time. Um, I don't think I've uh, fallen over afterwards, but definitely have to keep an eye on uh, what it is you're walking over, because you could walk over, you know, you, you tap the uh, R1 button, and it tells you, you know, there's, there's red spots in different areas. If I look over this way, uh, you can see kind of where I was walking around. There might have been an area that I tripped over or I just hit the left analog stick to the left or right uh, and that sort of lost his balance. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my map, making sure that if I go this way I can get somewhere. I don't need to go there, so I'm going to have to take a right up and over. This right here might be a way through. Let's see this. So... I'm almost feeling like maybe this area right through here is doable to cut through. Kind of see that area right there. Let's let's try that. Let's see what this right here. Online sign go up. So somebody's placed placed a sign here. So thanks for that. So that's one of the things. You have the sort of the 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 two sides of it. It's like now I kind of know what this is, and I know to go here, so apparently that is a way to go without me actually figuring out myself. So there's some exploration there that you might lose. Uh, I imagine you, you can take yourself offline and do all this stuff without uh, needing anybody's help, but 
I think maybe there's a little bit of loss of uh, exploration or uh, discovery if uh, you don't figure it out yourself because someone is giving the answer to you, I guess is a way to think of it. So I think maybe I'll cut through there, cut up this way. Let's see how deep that is. You can kind of see my my line there. I'm gonna. There's a pretty good incline there. Maybe not too bad, but we'll we'll try that. Let's go there and see if that one lets me. We'll see. We'll see where that takes me. I think that might be good for now. All right. So those um, waypoint markers that I'm dragging and leaving lines on will always give me this dashed line that you see here to my left. Uh, if you just place normal waypoints just with uh, plopping one down that doesn't have that strand connected to it, you won't get this this line here. See B2 up there to my left. Um, I like to take it. Uh, I like to take it slow. Um, you can run. You're probably more likely to uh, stumble if you're running. Uh, if you ever feel like you're about to stumble, just hold the L2 and R2. Um, one of the comments I tried to make in my previous video, I tried to identify sort of the um, kind of proportional navigation that the AI is capable of doing to, instead of just going straight at you, they will adjust their trajectory to try to intercept you where you'll be in the uh, very near future if you continue on your current uh, course. Oh. Don't think that's going to be a good way to go up and over that. So let's go here to the left. But it is interesting to see how the AI will change the way that they approach you so that they sort of bottleneck you almost. You can't just try to run away from them. They may end up intercepting you or... Or try to flank you. Okay, so I am in time fall. Kind of see how I get an indication of sharp terrain. Because the line's going straight over it, There is going to be a point where I can build shelters out in the middle of the, the field. Haven't gotten there yet. Again, I think I've said multiple times that I've taken my time, so this is definitely slower than most players. Some players may just get the critical path missions or orders and go straight and do those without exploring. I think that's how some reviewers were playing it. They are just, I'm going to do the basic stuff and get through it, and oh my gosh, it's all the delivery game, and that's pretty much it. And then they lost a lot of what the game uh, is about. You're going to lose some core concepts if all you're doing is the basic stuff, just so that you can get your review out in time. So on some arbitrary timeline or deadline. So 10 hours in, I think if you just uh, rushed through it, uh, you, you probably get to the point that I'm at um, after about three hours, four hours maybe. There's some BTs over here. Alright, so let's squat down here. 
there are BTs nearby. All right, so let's go over here. I can see we've got container spray, container spray, container spray. All right, we've got hematic grenades here in red. Almost feels as if red is I don't have those, but maybe the red is just the blood. All right, so I have those. I'm not going, I'll just do it because it's asking me to. Um, shows, oh, I like this little red circle here. Shows I have five of them left. My gosh, can I have over one million? Shows five, but there's a lot of digits there to fill up. Oh, don't want to do that. I was holding my left and right uh, triggers to stabilize myself, but it ended up what looks like me aiming. Alright, so let's see where I'm at here. Alright, let's move up this way. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dis... not dislodge, but unequip this so that I can have my left and right hand free. Thank you for whoever laid this down, Igor. I like that very much. I'm just sitting there tapping it really fast. A lot of red. <laughs> you see there's a lot of areas here that I could uh, slip and fall on. Thank you, Igor. Igor. All right, so let's take a quick pause here. It wants me to go straight up there. I don't see a rope, but maybe I could go up this way. Might need to do my own ladder. Um, oh, there is a rope there. Oh, is this whole thing right here a rope? Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. Thanks. Thanks, whoever put this rope down. See, that this right here is exactly what the game is about. It's not just deliveries, people. I'm talking to you, BBC Click and IGN. IGN 6.8, they graded it uh, that way because of the players, uh, the reviewers' frustration. Because they literally gave a comment on, yeah, the... Uh, the ladder that a player put down didn't give me exactly what I wanted or it was just to troll them. Well, I mean, that was your experience and that's not going to be everybody else's experience. Alright, so it's saying something's right over there. Alright, I think they're going to want me to try and throw a grenade at this guy just to see what it does. Alright, so there is an arc. Does it tell me if I can hit it? Yes, it does. Is that stuff? And are they going to come in and help? Does he know I'm there? Is that going to kill him? take out the, the uh, BTs. How many more do I have? I have two more. Let's uh, move off here to the right. something walking. You see these footprints. 
hold my breath here. We're gonna see where they're at. Go over here. Oh, there's a guy there too. Let's hold my breath and see if I can go in between. Them. There is a guy there. Let's go here to the left and then come right here to the middle. that are around me. This guy shouldn't be able to see me. Neither should that guy. Let's go ahead and move forward. Holding my breath. Alright, so there's an icon. Green um, reverse chevrons or those chevrons pointing down means that uh, I can hide inside the grass, and that's probably only from mules. <sighs> See any more BTs around here? Oh my gosh. what those jet up what are those wow there's a ton over here materials almost ruined by time faller container I need to get inside this building here Usually the best thing to do is to just run from these things still. I like how uh, the tar is really nicely done. How it climbs up on the terrain. Uh, so I dropped just about everything. Where's the... My other stuff's over here. I like this flood look. I guess I can still run away from all this. So I guess I could try doing that. Let's pick up all of this stuff first. I don't know how far I can get away from these guys. I need that repair spray. Come on, repair spray, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can run away from this guy. If that's even possible, I have no clue. I don't know if this person is actively helping me. So I probably need to make some grenades here. I like how he's got a, a security vest on. Alright, so let's uh, do a quick pause. It pauses the entire world here. Uh, order supply requests. Request supplies from other porters. Bridge links. Can I create something while I'm here? I don't think I can create something while I'm here, can I? Or right, let's go back over to... Here, no, go back over here. Let's. Can I make some more of these? Oh, 
it took that uh, that rock away that I was uh, standing on. It took that away. I need all this. Uh, do I need all this stuff? It's blood bags, medical grenades. Picking up a lot of this stuff, and I probably shouldn't. <laughs> say sometimes it's just best to run away from these things. Do I just need to get outside the oil slick? That might have been the way I wanted to go over there. Let's go this way. I'm outside the coil. Did I drop anything? Cargo ruined medical instrument. And I need that medical instrument, I wonder. Alright, let's see if I can throw down a piton here. Okay, so I did get away from it. Um, not looking good. Uh, a lot of my bands here are red, so I may have destroyed what it was that I was uh, carrying because uh, all the bands are red. So let's go ahead and take a look at. BB's a little upset, so let's uh, let's go there. Let's just drink a monster real quick. Let's. I think it's, is it hold down or hold up to soothe BB? Nope, not that one. Not that one. Um, hit the, nope, I don't think it's hit the circle button. It's been a while since I've uh, soothed BB. Uh, to prepare the strands. Oh, that's so if I can uh, use it as a weapon. Alright, so I'm going to go back down this way. I've fallen down a couple of times and I've probably damaged the... Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Sam. I think I got lucky there. All right. Um, so you can't escape without actually fighting the um, the big BT boss. Um, I see a bunch of people floating in the air over here. Oh, is that that crater? Can I go explore that crater? That's something that I want to eventually try to do. I don't know if it's possible if I can go into the crater, but I would love to go look at this crater again. I could probably see it in the distance, but not actually go to it. <clears throat> Alright, I believe this is the crevice that I was looking at before. This little valley here, might, I might be able to walk across it. I think the question I have for myself to try to figure out is, is all of that traversable? I'm thinking maybe not, or can I have a ladder that goes up and over to that small out, uh, that, that rock that juts out there, and then can I, can I get back over there? Hey, kid. No idea. Uh, all right, so it does look like I can go through here. Definitely looks like a space that I can walk through. About 30 minutes into this uh, hour-long stream, uh, I am trying to get over to Port Knot City to deliver these medical supplies, which looks as if I've damaged them beyond repair. This might be a uh, mission that I redo. Uh, that might require that I go back over to Capital Knot City. Um, I probably need to bring more blood grenades um, to clear up that area. I did induce the uh, boss battle, uh, if you want to call it a boss battle, uh, yeah. there where I just kind of gave up and I started running and they immediately found me. I probably could have gone through there a little slower, probably could have used more blood uh, or hematic grenades. Okay, 
Okay, so I need to figure out how to soothe BB. I know there is a way. I don't know if that red light indicates that there's something wrong with BB. Alright, I need to figure that out. Um, I know they've shown it to me before. Uh, Whew, not a moment too soon. Catching. All right, so this does also save your game. You kind of take a breath. You regain some of your stamina. Seems like maybe a song plays. Sort of a relaxing song. And, you know, we just got through a really tough encounter. Actually, we just sort of escaped and ran from it because I wasn't prepared for it. All right, I think that's good. I'm going to stand up. I need to figure out how to soothe BB. Hey! 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 Over here! Over here! Over here! Not if I press up. This right here is blood bag. A bag of sans blood that can be equipped to restore blood levels. Hematic rounds will draw from the blood bag instead of Sam's body. If multiple bags are equipped. All right, so let me equip that. Where is that blood bag at? I guess it's going to be somewhere on the side of me. That, that might be it there, but I'll learn that very soon. Blood bags, blood bags can be carried in utility pouches, freeing up space on your back. These pouches can also be used to st store crypto bios. One likes from BB. Alright, so BB is about a little less than half. Um, stamina, I guess you could call it. Uh, let me take a quick stop here. I need to figure out how to soothe BB. Uh, system, maybe? No, I think it might be data. A few tips. There we are. Tips. Let's go to tips. Uh, controls, SAM movement. Staying upright. A lot of stuff here to help you out. Sam, Sam stamina. BB. I wish there was a search function. There we go. Cho soothing BB. There we are. All right. So hold the L1 button. Press plus. Press down. And then okay. So L1. Pressing down. L1. All right. So it brings up this menu where I'm looking sort of first person view. Um, I actually do see my feet. Again, nice, uh, sort of, I guess you could call it a, a camera. All right, so we're going to soothe BB here. Press down to check on BB. How you doing there, buddy? Burps a heart. Just want to get that yellow bar down there to the bottom left. A little bit higher than 75%. I might go all the way. I wish it would... Um, so I'm shaking the DualShock 4 controller um, to sort of give the shake that you see there. Um, I'm doing it very, you know, slowly, very ducimel. I'm doing it in a way that all I'm doing is just moving the controller. I could go up and down, I could rock the controller left and right, I could tilt the controller, and it pretty much does the same thing. I wish that the direction that I move the controller would be the direction that uh, the container would actually face. But need to soothe, soothe BB. BB is making it possible for me to see the BTs. So want to keep BB happy. Alright, so I, I didn't bring any ladders. And that is my er error. Um, so we'll see if somebody left one for me. It doesn't look like they did. So 
I might have to go back. I might be able to get down over here, but I don't want to fall and damage all this stuff. So I might have to go around because I failed to bring uh, anything with me. Um, I have a strand, but that's used as weapons. I need to be able to use it as uh, equipment, so which I did not bring with me. Let's uh, quickly look at my inventory to be sure. From the cargo, I've got resins. Yeah, I got a bunch of this stuff. Container, repair spray. Yeah, I might need to go back the way that I came um, because I didn't bring. All right, so I'm going to put this other cargo, these four containers that I have here on the ground that have the red uh, bands on them. So let's go back into the inventory here. We're going to go to cargo. We're going to select these four. And I'm going to offload them. Alright, so those four there. I'm going to pick up two of these and put them down next to these others. All right, and then I'm gonna get my resin spray out. I'll probably move this other one a little bit closer. No, don't, don't wanna do that. Okay, so I've equipped my, don't wanna equip anything there, put that away. Pick this up, drop it off right next to all four of these. Do not have the number of items required for the aid package delivery. All right, so because I put them down. All right, so now I want to equip a repair spray, which are these right here. I'm going to aim it and spray it. Alright, so it's all restored, but the bands are still yellow, or still red. So that tells me, let's go ahead and pick them all up. Alright, and then I'm going to go back into my cargo. I'm going to pretty much select everything here. I'm going to offload it. I'm going to start with the heavier stuff. So I've got stuff that's attached to my suit. I probably could have done this one to my left shoulder here and repaired that as well. So I'm going to go down to stuff that's not carried. i got to do these four. Those are the primary ones. And you can see I'm at 44% damage, 51%, 56%. So I want to put those in first. The packages, the containers are now repaired, so if they fall, then the containers will take some damage first. Container damage, you can see, is zero because I fully repaired them. And then I can take all these other blood bags, all this other great stuff, and have it auto stack on my back here. And now I'm carrying anything. There's nothing that I'm not carrying. All right, back into the world. Now, I should have brought a ladder or some uh, ropes or some strands to make it easier for me to um, get down this side. And it doesn't look like anybody's come up this way to leave a rope for me. So if I would have brought one, I could have left a couple ropes here for people to get down this way and to make it a shortcut. Um, you can see right over here the distribution center. See the edge of it right there. Spent a lot of time there. Uh, and then I need to get up into there to go over to Port Knot City. But I decided to go the long way to check something out, and then by doing that, I didn't bring my exploration uh, equipment with me. So if I have to go back through that BT area and I can't get through it, oh, you know what I think I. Uh, this might be. I don't know how this is going to. Out. Let's uh, let's go down here. I'm wondering if I can get that um, rope that the other person left behind and use that. Let's slow down.
found him. <clears throat> Too close. Alright, so let's go back and see if we can retrieve that rope. See if that gets me down at all. I might take the ladder and the rope. Nah, it started raining again. Alright, I gotta be careful here. But I think the rope was to get me here, wasn't it? Not to get up there. Cargo, container ruined, lost cargo, character figurines. Alright, so... the incinerator where I brought the uh, spoiler I brought the uh, the president Fuck this. I wonder if you can climb up to the top of that a lot of stuff to do a lot of stuff to try out <coughs> so the uh, cryptobiotes you can consume to restore blood I have 8 out of 999 that I can have. Doesn't look like it's letting me select it though. Is it going to auto eat for me or? No. Figure that out later. Alright, so I'm going to try, go, try going back. Let's uh, see if there's a decent way to go here. We could push back over that way. Online post box. So it does look like I'm going to go back through these uh, enemies here. Let's see if I can... Can I enter this building and get some shelter? Uh, one thing that I have uh, found out is that... The weather, I guess, is not as random as I thought it was. Um, I guess it's based on the mission that you do. Then this area is always going to be loaded with BT. But on another subsequent mission, or if I have another set of orders, this area may not be flooded with BT. Alright, so I'm gonna hold my breath here. If I can walk by this guy. Walk by that BT. So I'm gonna have to go the long way. And again, this is learning from mistakes. Is that if you don't bring ladders or ropes with you and you get yourself up on an area that you can't descend in, you're going to end up needing to uh, backtrack, which is what I'm being forced to do because I decided not to bring any traversal equipment with me. So my fault, and now I'm paying for it. Rightfully so, though. Say, so it looks like just my containers are getting ruined. Hopefully not the material inside. probably would be about 10 minutes away from Port Knot City if I would have brought a ladder and some rope with me. Take a quick look at who's around me here. Doesn't seem to be too much in front of me. I just have to go the long way. I haven't taught myself how to make uh, hematic grenades in the field. I do have a bunch of uh, blood bags. 
but I also I also don't want to just sit here. Okay, so what is that? Footwear is almost ruined, so I got to keep an eye on that. Very close to a BT, as the uh, radar, the scanner there is going crazy, and it's red and it's pointing at it. Wow, I'm surprised that guy is not all over me. These are very tense moments. And a little bit of the harder part of it is I'm carrying cargo, I'm in the rain, it's destroying the cargo containers. Hopefully I don't lose my material inside that I'm required to deliver. If I do, then I'll have to redo this one, I think. I, I believe as long as I've got a at least 1%, not 100% damage, then they'll take it. I just won't get a good rating. Alright, so there's an energy uh, tower there that's good for the bikes, if I had one. I don't see any uh, ropes or anything left by behind by anybody. Let's go ahead and see where I'm at here. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back around this way. So I'm going down this. See, I could go up and over if I would have brought ladders, which I, for some reason, decided not to do. So I might be close to getting away from the BT encampment. The game will kind of do a quick pause and it will show the uh, scanner, kind of give me a thumbs up and tap my shoulder and give me a thumbs up like a, hey, you're clear. Container damaged. All right, so the sperm eggs, medicine pack, all that kind of stuff are some of my primary containers that I need to get delivered to Port Knot City. All right, so it should be done. I get a little clap from him, clear. Hopefully it stops raining and stops damaging my containers. Stand up normally. I'm not trying to be quiet. See, so yeah, now I acquired the crypto biote, but it's, it doesn't seem like I can eat it. How do I eat it? Do I just tap? What do I do here? Change footwear. Are those sandals? Treasured by porters is an emergency replacement for boots. Alright, so there's this one. These are both on the clip. I don't need to change footwear. I've got a good percentage left still left on these boots. Now all I'm doing is pressing forward. I'm not changing the left analog stick control, I'm just changing the right analog stick control. If I turn with my left analog stick control, I'm probably going to fall down. But because I'm changing the direction with the camera um, and holding just straight forward, straight up on the left analog stick, um, Sam will do more of a, a shallow turn versus a sharp turn, and he'll likely not lose his footing. Again, holding the same direction and intensity on the left, and I'm just moving the camera, and then he makes a slow adjustment to the direction that the camera is facing. See how I'm kind of walking there now? If I try to do that with, you know, this left and right now, now I'm trying to turn with my left and right, uh, the left analog stick turning left and right, and you kind of see how I lost my footing there. So I'm glad this piton is here. Um, 
Can I grab the rope and do I can recover the rope? And then, but I don't want to go all the way back around. Let's grab the rope and use it. One of these days, I'll go back to the uh, um, that place that I was at before and maybe leave a rope there for a future player. I have seen some glitch videos on the game uh, where you'll start to pull away from the mountain and you'll just be floating in air. Okay, the end of the rope is coming up. You see the uh, orange end there, but you can see how I don't need it. Alright, thank you for that rope. Alright, so I'm going to go down and around to the left. I believe a rope that I put up is somewhere over here. I need to stop by one of the... Uh, next stations and build myself some rope. Coming up on an hour for this stream, uh, I might cut it uh, halfway through and then the next episode, episode 11, will be me completing this delivery. Okay, my boots are probably a little below 25%. Need to be cautious of that. There's a rope and a ladder over here, so let's cut across up here. I believe these are one of the areas that I came through here before. It's starting to rain again. So I'm probably going to face some more BTs. my ladder. It doesn't look like anybody's used it. Or no one's given it any likes. Alright, uh, that's the way station. So if I delivered this stuff here, I could get some uh, points and materials for it. Uh, but I'm going to push forward with the uh, cargo load that I've got. It's pretty heavy. I'm close to my uh, weight limit. Cargo almost ruined. Lost cargo character figurines. Yep, need to be, need to be careful. Got my both left and right uh, cargo straps held. Climbing as I need to. Should be a, uh, a rope over here that I left. Of course, some of the ones that I left behind were just for me in my game. And I don't think I was connected to the chiral network for these to even show up. So they may not be there for other people to see. Alright, so this is the original rope that I laid down. Make sure my camera is right behind me, so when I pull down, it's going straight down. So you can see I'm kind of going 17 of 30. I'm now 15 of 30. I'm getting down to the end of the strand. We got 10 meters to go on the strand. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So I'm at the end of that strand. <clears throat> All right, so now we're on a, a better path. Uh, I need to stop over by the way station and create a couple of uh, strands myself and some ladders. There's a bridge down there you can see that's starting to be constructed. If I had some metals, I could help that bridge uh, get to its completion. Contributing some of the materials that I collect in the game to players that have wanted to start building that bridge. bridge right here would be uh, very nice. I think I'm going to walk up over here. I probably didn't need to go down here to the beach because now I'm walking over a bunch of yellows. So let's uh, walk back up here. Try to climb up here. Let's just stay on the blue or stay on the green. Or the blue. I think it's blue, yellow, red. Stay on the blue. Looks like I've got a ladder, or a couple ladders over here that I can use to get across. If I had a bike, that I could use this to recharge it, or I believe I can also recharge uh, exoskeletons which I haven't uh, gotten to exoskeletons yet. Once I get them, the way that the game is played will change. Or I could decide not to use the exoskeleton and play the game as How you sort of it, I am now. Emergency gas. Coffee. What a great social uh, system. Take these over here. One of them takes me all the way across. Looks like they both do, but... This one's for you. Thanks for the help. Mashing it, mashing it, mashing it. So you can see right here, I believe these right here are areas that they use stones. All right, we're at an hour for this stream. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to push all the way to Port Knot City. We'll see exactly what uh, percentage I get based on the mistakes that I made uh, in not bringing um, ropes or ladders. I'm sure I can still make it. My cargo, my containers are damaged based on the uh, time fall. Time fall did a number on all my containers. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapon I should be able to craft stuff here. I haven't gotten uh, the ability to craft out in the field yet. Or I've just forgotten on it. Alright, so we're going to fabricate some equipment here. Let's see if I can recycle some stuff that's fully damaged. So, let's recycle these two. Don't want really to recycle those. Let's recycle some chiral crystals. I think I just dropped this stuff off. Alright, let's go over here. Let's uh, recycle. Okay, that stuff's recycled. Uh, blood bags, let's see, that's trash, right? Recycle those. All right, a bunch of blood bags uh, destroyed. So, yep, everything there, so I could recycle these two and this. Just one thing at a time.
not quite sure why it's saying carry. Um, because these are destroyed. Okay, I had to pick them up first, I guess. On tool rack, that's pretty much... We'll do that. What else is damaged? Beyond repair. Container spray. I don't think it's damaged. I think it's just what's left in the container spray. But heck, we'll recycle it anyway. Alright, so Cairo Crystals carried on back. It almost seems like there's stuff on the rack back there, but like, what's all that stuff over there? What's on my... Yeah, this stuff right here I want to... If I carry this, carry this, carry, carry... Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm doing this. Doing this all wrong. Alright, so this, this, this. Those are the things I've <laughs> recycled but ended up putting back on myself. Uh, so it shows what I have in the recycle shelf. Alright, so I'm going to go over here, I'm going to say recycle. And then I'm going to hit confirm. Alright, and then that'll recycle those things. Yeah, so I've been doing some of those videos that I said I was uh, just recording via the DVR of the PS4, and then I would edit in Share Factory. Those take a lot of time, and I could probably just do it faster. Um, just doing a stream because then I can talk through some of the things that I'm thinking about. Um, the editing, you know, you know, cutting the and splicing, it has some cool flash to it. But it takes a lot of time. Um, it takes almost as long as the video itself takes to record, uh, and that's just the clip. And then I got to take the clip, I got to edit it, I got to throw in a bunch of you know text in there. So I don't really think it's something I'm going to do all the time. I think it's just I primarily do it when family's home and I'm wanting to get a couple of uh, hours in on the game and maybe they're already asleep and I don't want to wake them up and sit here talking. Um, I'm just playing in my living room. Uh, maybe one of these days it'll be a point to where uh, I could get like a quiet room or you know I'll change my office into a sort of an area that I could uh, play around in. Uh, okay, so I need to fabricate some equipment, and I need to fabricate ladder. Uh, I'm going to get two lat. Let's take... I'm pretty heavy right now, so that's going to take me to 70, 80, 90. So let's take two of those. Uh, two of these. So that'll take me to 78. That'll take me to 88. Um, PCCs are like those container repair spray. Let's take two of those. That's two kilograms. Blood bags I've already got. Um, equipment boots I'm good. Weapons I could take hematic grenades. Um, let's take four of those. Let's just take three. I guess I can only make three at a time. All right, that's all I've got available. All right, let's fabricate all of that. Um, that should carry everything. So I've got a ton of stuff. I'm at 98. Um, I need to put some of this stuff. Let's put EX grenade number one. Those right there. Blood bag, ladder. Let's see. Let's attach the suit. Place a private. Oh, place a utility pouch. Yeah, definitely place a utility pouch. Let's do. Blood bag, can I place this one also in the utility pouch? How many of these can I place in the utility pouch? Blood bag right here. Can I put them all in the utility pouch? I guess is what I'm figuring out. Utility pouch. Alright, so I put all my blood bags in my utility pouch. That's perfect. Um, Alright, so container repair spray, I need to use that. Um, hematic grenade. I want to put my ladder. Okay, I can I only do those one at a time? Let's put the ladder. Let's attach to the suit. Let's put it at the right shoulder. That's fine. Let's take this ladder. Let's attach it to the suit. <coughs> Excuse me. Put it on my 
other shoulder. Uh, I did make some ropes. Uh, where are those at? Climbing anchor, that's what they are. That one there. I'm gonna attach that one to my leg, or my hip. And I'm gonna take my other climbing link anchor and attach that to my other leg there. All right, so that should balance me out there. I'm at 98 kilograms, uh, relatively balanced everything out. Um, what I do need to take out are these four, and I'm going to offload them, and that is going to be confirmed. Jump out, those should be out in front of me. Um, let's jump here, those should be out on the floor. Let's pick up this one and this one with my left and right hand, take it over here, drop them off in close proximity to each other. Get out my spray, which is going to be here. Let's see, 49, 150, 150, 150. Let's finish this 49. Spray the heck out of these. <clears throat> 20, 19, 18, 17, 85, 42, 1. All right, so they're not 100% repaired, so I'm going to use a little bit more. That one's completely used. Let's spray a little bit more. All right, that should be it. So now I want to carry these. I'm in pro close proximity and I go into cargo. Will those be around me, like not carried? Yes, they will. Okay, so I don't have to pick them all up and then go back in here. So they're, they're still surrounding me. All right, so I am going to offload. Just have to do this because I want this stuff on the bottom. Um, And then I'm going to offload everything. Now I'm going to go down here and pick up the important ones. Bam, 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 bam. And those are all going to go on the bottom so they're slightly more protected. And then all this other stuff can be auto stacked on its own on top of all that. And it should protect somewhat. Um, if I go into any more rain. So I've got a couple more grenades. I've got my um, ladders. I've got my anchors. Um, so now I'm just trucking it back over to Port Knot City. Again, if I had a motorcycle and I was able to fabricate those, I would probably already be there by now. I probably would have gone the long way um, and Weapons not try to take a shortcut, but because I made the mistake of not bringing traversal equipment with me, I had to go back around that ridge line. But I will eventually go back to that spot. And again, this is just the first area. Um, I'm probably going to have a 60 to 100 hour game because I get distracted on wanting to explore a lot. Um, I might go out on not necessarily a order mission. I might not make a delivery and I might just bring a ton of ladders and a ton of anchors and just climb and throw down some ropes. I would love to climb some of these, uh, these ridge lines here and see how high I can actually get up there. Um, it is kind of foggy. Uh, hopefully that's not always the case. I don't think it's always the case. Oh, I need to watch out for those scanners. The mules, uh, which are the guys that like to steal uh, my cargo, have these detecting um, beacons that they place around. And yep, so I've already been scanned, pinged by somebody. Okay, so they have found me. They're gonna come to that location, I think. Don't want them to steal my cargo. You can see him coming there to the to my left. He's gonna try to intercept me, and this is where I was telling you before that. So we'll end it right here, and I'll pick up right where I left off.
and I'll pause it essentially right here and we'll see how it looks uh, if I escape or not. Alright, thanks for watching.